Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2 playing Karak Kadrin and this is episode 9 and this time I knew what episode it was. Can you believe it? <laughs> so last time we had just defeated uh, Isabella and Vlad in a massive battle in the underway against the von Karstein family and it went really really in our favor. We won it and uh, now we have Hinder Replenishment. Well, that's not good. But we have... Oh, yes. And Mount Gunbad got, <laughs> got besieged. But we have a new technology. Gold mine income, which is good. And uh, we now have my traits on our Lord Ungram. Regeneration. Wind recovery time. Really, really awesome traits. Especially regeneration. That one just can't be overstated how good that one is. Um, so... Let's continue uh, our conquest against the vampires by taking out the von Karsteins this turn. So let's get, hmm, for Ungram and Slayer units, and <laughs> minus two recovery time. That's less than when he dies. <laughs> he's, ba he's back alive before he dies, in that case. <laughs> um, let's give him Slayer. I really want to make him just a beast at this point. And Schwarzhafen being their capital, I feel like it's better to take that. Although it might just be better to take out Isabella so she can't recover at all as well. So let's do that first. And we can just auto-resolve that. Maybe we could... Oh no, loss, loss is one. Looks like we lost more there, but that's, that's absolutely fine. Let's take the leadership. I don't want to take any uh, negative to recovery. And then we could either take Schwarzhafen, which is level 3, or we could take the Moot, which is also level 3, but it has less buildings ready. Schwarzhafen is fully upgraded, so let's take Schwarzhafen. Uh, we'll give this banner to... Why not? Give it to the Slayers, and that just looks... Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. 44. I can deal with 44. Uh, we shall sack them. Oh no, I haven't got the movement to do that i got to make sure that I have enough movement here. I didn't check. I'm not going to risk it. Let's loot and occupy. I didn't want to risk not being able to, to take it. If I sacked it and then didn't have enough movement to move back in, that would have been gutting. Because um, we need to take it for the replenishment. But even so, we're not getting any. Wow. Local effects. What are the local effects? Rampant corruption. Probably causing so much corruption that we can't replenish. Oh well, that's not good. But what is good is it still, regardless of us looting and occupying, has a level 2 uh, fort, which is nice. We've also got another level here. Slayer King for Slayer units. Bonus versus large. Eh, none of them particularly good. Let's go for that. I don't know why they're getting replenishment and no one else is. <laughs> Seems a bit unfair, but okay. Uh, we can recruit something here, though, so that's good. Uh, we could even get ourselves some grudge throwers through global recruitment, which doesn't actually seem to me to be a bad idea. But we do want to move and take the moot quickly. So I'll tell you what, we'll do that next turn. This turn, we'll just recruit some yes, warriors. My oath is intact. Because it doesn't matter where we are to do that, and I'd rather move away from Manfred at Castle Drakenhof to do that. Oh. So, we do need to threaten him somehow because he's heading towards Karak Kadrin, isn't he? Which is the worst possible thing that could happen. I'm not taking any chances with that. I'm going to recruit. Uh, let's recruit. Oh, we have two lords we've recruited in the past. Let's get the tough rune lord. Shove him in there. It's expensive, but what can you do? And then we'll get three quarrelers because archers are what hold the line for the dwarfs, really. Look at that, they've already got a bunch of melee units there that'll hold the line if we need them to. And then Mount Kunbad is under attack over here. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm not scared of this. Let's just check what the full retinue is. It's all goblins. They have got a goblin rock lobber, but all in all, I think we'll be okay.
They'll probably attack us this turn or next turn. So, what have they got? Is this their only settlement? Two settlements left. Okay. No problem. Um, in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to pass our turn there, I think. And then we'll move to the moot next turn, which will undoubtedly have some sort of soldier. We'll probably have Vlad back. He'll probably be already back. And again, I'm not going to try and hold Schwarzhafen. It's no, there's no point. It's it's a minor settlement in a province that I can't get the whole of because uh, Ostermark have taken the 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 other city. So, yeah, it just makes sense to just let it let it go away, and then maybe Averheim will take it, who will probably end up being friends with us. So that's fine. Knobnails troll eater. Failing. Let's see what Manfred does. Okay, that's great. Thank goodness. I was really scared <laughs> that he was going to. Uh... Ooh. Look at Luthor, Luthor Barakmir moving to threaten us, I guess. Okay, so for us next turn, it's definitely the moot. It makes the most sense. Even if Manfred comes and takes Schwartz half, and I'm not that bothered. Because it gets rid of one vampire faction. And I think fighting one is always better than fighting two. Because combined they'll have less armies. I think that's how it works anyway. You know, Manfred had two full armies there. Well, one and a half. I don't think Manfred, by taking Swarshafen, will get a further two full, two, you know, one and a half armies. Mind dispute or diplomatic relations? We'll take the extra gold. We really need it now that I've got a second army on the go. Uh, the moot will be ours. I really can't afford to take even 33 losses, but this seems such a silly fight to, to do. Let's do it. 57. Oh. Right, let's sack and occupy. You know what? I'm just going to... No, I'm going to sack and occupy. As we're, I was saying, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna. No, I'm not. I'm talking nonsense. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> Still no replenishment. This is hard times for my uh, for my dwarfs here. But it'll be okay in the end, I'm sure. Uh, okay. What now? I think he's the Slayer King. We got to get the Slayers buffed a little bit, haven't we? It makes sense. Sure, I'll buff them up. At least they're getting some replenishment. The Moot has been sacked into oblivion and occupied. Work badge over here. So again, oh look, they're in Averheim. Okay, that's where it's all going to go down. Then is it? That's where it's all going to go down between us and Averheim. That's fair enough. He's recruiting too. No. So it's kind of a now or never sort of thing, isn't it? Really. I could take some units of renown. That's the best thing to do here. Let's get these guys yes. together like that. That, that freed up three slots. That's cool. Okay. Regiments of renown. What can we get here? We can get one of these warriors. That's fine. We can get the goblobber, which is probably one of the most awesome units in the game. Definitely. And then we'll take... Uh, Dragonback Slayers, they're so expensive. I'd love them, but they are just so expensive. I'd rather have these miners for the gate, to be honest. They'll take the gate out, no problem. Let's do that. And that way we can move against them next turn. Very, very confident we can move against them next turn, so that's cool. Um, meanwhile, we have six, 660 replenishment left. A replenishment. 660 gold per turn left. I'm not as scared as I was, but you know what? I'm just going to get one miner and one archer just to guarantee our safety there. I feel like with a lord plus five units, that brings us up to 17 in the garrison 
is that's a much sturdier garrison, you know? It's definitely something that can hold. Oh, of course, they've paused. I really hope they'll attack soon so that that doesn't... It's delaying us, you know? That's delaying our income. So hopefully that doesn't last too much longer. Um, but yeah, Averheim next turn, and then... Where's rebelling? Zuf Bar. We don't care. Uh, also, Schwartz half, and let's delete this for that extra income. Um, that's our turn there. So yeah, that's just an un unnamed vampire faction in Karagdromar, so they'll just raise it, which I'm absolutely fine with. To be honest, if we're lucky with our timing, when Schwarzhafen rebels and then raises, tries to raise us, um, Manfred might take it with, and, ha and end up with a depleted army, and then we can move in and destroy him. If we are fortunate enough, never mind. <laughs> never mind, it makes no difference. Let's just look at what he's got here. He's got some corpse carts, he's got a fire gulf. And then he, he, that's a really, really nice army. That's better than any army they've had so far. It's all Graveguard, you know? Our poor Dowie brothers that were left to guard as Swarchefen pointlessly. If I could, I'd have just said, nope, leave it. Leave it, guys. Don't even bother. Those poor dwarfs, all dead for nothing. Finally, Averheim will be ours. One of the problems with what I'm doing, of course, is that this is going to put loads of grudges in the book, which is um, kind of annoying, but there's not much I can do about it. Ah, we encountered Karakazul. Can't believe they're even still alive. <laughs> Usually they are dead very early. Goodbye, Karag Dromar. It becomes a ghost town. Migration. Oh, well, I'm having public order troubles now, so you know what? I'm not going to do that, even though I'd love to. I do love growth. Our runesmith is back and ready. That's good. Capture. That's a grudge issued. It's two grudges. Capture swords. That's two grudges right there. Which would be really nice. Where's Garim? Where is he? Oh, great! He's here! Oh, I haven't got any room for him. <laughs> oh, we'll get rid of this last unit of uh, warriors and we'll shove him in there. Back where he belongs. Time. Okay, it's definitely time. Let's take Averheim. My command is attack. Excellent, and we can attack on the first turn, which is cool. And there's nothing really to worry about here. This should be a good battle, though. Let's retake Averheim for the province of men. Again, I'm going to occupy it, but then I'll probably just let it rebel. Because once a faction that you're not at war with retakes it, it writes off the grudge. So it shouldn't really be that much of an issue. At least I think that's how it works. I'll double check because, so for example, Karig Dromar has been burned to the ground. There shouldn't be any grudge there now because there's, you know, who who is there to have a grudge against? There might be a grudge to retake the city, but that's all I could think of. Okay, so, warriors, you're going to move straight up and get on those walls. Slayers, Ungram, and Garim, along with the miners, you're going to the gates. Archers are just going to pepper those walls. 
and the Goblobber the same. Okay. Should be a good one. Let's do it. Why can we... Oh. What? Is the gate bugging? Why can they not attack it? Good against gates. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> Why can't they attack the gate? That's strange. Very weird. Maybe there's something about these guys that uh, means they can't take the gate. I don't know. I, I'm genuinely baffled by that. I don't know what's going on there. But we'll get everyone else on the gate then. Aha! Putting him in melee modes. That's what it is. Alright, never mind. Just stand there. So I had to put them in melee mode. And then it was happy. Did I move my archers up? I didn't. That's dumb. <laughs> Let's get them up there. We need to take these towers quickly. Come on, lads, up we go. I need these towers taken quickly. Up we go. Get the uh, blessing on all our troops there. Buff their melee defense. And hopefully some archer file will really support the taking of these walls. Let's fire on something inside instead. Now that we're on the walls. Gates open yet? The gates are open. Nice. I love these miners for doing the gates. They break down the gates and then instantly, boom, just throw all their blasting charges. Have it, you wazzocks! I'll just leave them there until they fired all their blasting charges off. Quite happy with that. And for some reason, these fell bats thought it'd be a good idea to engage our slayers outside the wall. Probably the worst thing they're suited to fighting. <laughs> And we nearly have the walls. Certainly on this side we're doing well. Let's not move down off them until we're in a good spot. You know what? Oh, no. Never mind, that was wrong. Usually I have my archers on too. Let's have these guys here. How goes the fight? Keep it up, lads. Get over here. We'll have our archers take out these... Uh, Blood Knights. Too deadly to live, you know? Kill it is an order. For the Enemies using gone. magic of their own. Let's move them up in the gate there, try and get some more blasting charges off. Split you in twain. Doesn't look like they want to fire them anymore, but we're not going to go through yet. Let's just concentrate on taking the uh, the wall first. Taking one tower. We need to finish off this other side here. Let's send Garam up. And Ungram, send them up. Support the efforts. You guys need to engage. What are you doing? <laughs> doing exactly what I ordered them to do, of course. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as she knew Ingram was coming, just bailed. <laughs> Quite reasonable, I think. Let's finish these guys off. Get them off the walls. There we go, the tower's ours. The Blood Knights are dead. It might be time to move some troops in. Warriors. 
Send a unit of Crypt Girls to try and retake the tower. I don't think it'll work for them. And the same at this tower. They're really desperately trying to retake it. Oh, Ungrim, get over here. She's going to do a lot of damage to our warriors, but you'll kill them in no time. Rune of Wrath and Ruin on these spearmen here. And I think it's safe to move our troops in now. Let's go inside. There go those wolves. More of them over here, though. Need to be careful. Wolves against Slayers. Both absolute glass cannons. Oh, their morale's starting to dip. As soon as we take this guy out, it's over. This Dirk Hubt Anderson. These warriors really took a beating fighting her. Let's just move them away. It's probably our archers have done that, actually, to be fair. Let's get everyone just firing on Dirk Hubt Anderson. Hopefully that uh, does the job. Ah, tougher than I expected. Oh, <laughs> come on, chop her head off. Oh, there she goes. Come on, Ungram. There we go. Good stuff. That sh I reckon they'll just disappear now. Without their vampire lord. No, they have. Okay, they have some more people back there. We're going to have to move into the town and take it. Ah, that's because their lord is over here. Never mind, there they go. Yeah, they're gone. Are they? Nope, they're just just holding. Okay, let's move up and kill them. Take the city! And certainly we've actually had some heavy losses here. Not so good. Speed this up here. Get Ungram over here. <laughs> Could I say the word here anymore? <laughs> they are crumbling, so if I just waited, they'd eventually just lose so many troops from the crumbling that they'd then die. But we haven't the patience nor the time. And there we go. Just the mere sight of Ungram is enough to drive any undead to madness. <laughs> Good job. And von Karstein are no more. So we'll do the same as always. We'll sack and then occupy. I think I've got enough movement. I hope so. Again, I didn't check. I need to be careful of that. Sack. Moving. I'm just going to take the chance that we do have enough movement. I hope that I'm right. I, must I am right. Just off. enough. Bye. Still no replenishment. <laughs> but on the plus side. We have got rid of the, Car the Von Karsteins. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, I might go for that extra pure beard now. We're kind of using a, a lot. Uh, or we'll make use of it a lot. But you know what? We're getting to level 21. There's nothing else I really want at the moment. Although this is probably... Actually, you know what? I definitely need to get that. But I don't need to get it now. I just need to make sure that I definitely get that. It's no use to me now. Actually, it is used to me now. We already have a grud the, the unit of renown is already unit rank nine, so that benefits from that right away. The slayer in me so that wasn't a bad investment, actually. Hello, Carrick Norn. You do not like us. We've met a few people since uh, last we looked here. How are you guys doing? Ready to trade yet? Yay! Finally! What? Your defensive allies with the vampire counts? What is going on with the diplomacy here? 
actually more realistic than it seems, I think, lore-wise, to be fair to it. But it just seems weird in, in the Warhammer world <laughs> that Ostermark are allied with the vampires. <laughs> That's really weird. Well, traitors to mankind. But if I can profit off it, then I happily will do so. Um, so, no replenishment coming out of Averheim either, sadly. I wonder why there's only 44% vampiric corruption. It doesn't seem like it's that much. I guess the negative effects of the corruption plus the uh, unpleasant climate are just enough to push most of these guys to not be able to replenish. Which is fair enough. I'm assuming he's going to take the moot next turn, which might actually work out in our favour. It really might work out for the best for us, because then we can move to engage it. And that would be a tough army to fight, but at the same time, definitely worthwhile to take out. Right, please, 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 Mount Goombad, will you fight this turn? So that I can upgrade it and get the gold mine. Because once we have a full second army, this war is over. <clears throat> Hopefully Ratagash will uh, do the job for us. Ooh, Manfred's set an ambush for us. Luckily it's failed. Yes, okay, cool. <clears throat> quite fine about this, quite fine with this, should I say. Oh, he's not going to take it. He's not taking it. <laughs> he's not taking it. Is he? Maybe he will. It's that their turn is still not over yet. No, he moved back to Schwarzhafen. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> we need to move to fight Luther. That's going to be one hell of a battle. When it happens. Abraham could hold. It's only minus... Oh, that's with our military. Oh, it's 20 military presence, of course. <laughs> That makes a difference. Never mind. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. That's uh, a little bit earlier than usual, but I think I'm going to leave the episode there. We'll start with this battle next time. This will make for a great battle. Great start to the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, please like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next one.